So uh, yes, I'm the owner of Lift to Acro Evolution. Uh, it's a, been a bit of a journey yeah. uh, bringing the circus to the Ottawa Valley. <laughs> yeah, oh, believe is, me, <laughs> the circus, the Ottawa Valley is not a big thing, believe me. Yeah, I'm it's sure been it's always been here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, We have quite, quite the characters here um, in the Valley, but you know, that's one of the things that I love the it most. It makes the character. Exactly. It's all about telling a story. Yep. Um, and so I started um, taking gymnastics and dance courses okay. as an adult. Yep. Mm -hmm. I never, um, I was never fortunate enough to experience these things mm -hmm. as a kid. But obviously, I am. Um, it, it's what's not to love about gymnastics and dance. <laughs> I mean, they're two really fantastic yep. um, sport and art forms. Um, so I got my kids involved. Um, before I knew it, I was um, coaching at a local gymnastics club and trying to help out um, with their their younger their recreational programs. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing led to another. I was teaching acrobatic dance uh, for a number of years at Michelle School of Performing Arts. Yep. And uh, thanks to Michelle Picard, uh, I got my start in yep. in teaching acrobatics. Uh, from there, I, it's like I couldn't get enough. Uh, mm. It's all I wanted to do. I wanted to learn more about, you know, how we're going to combine um, this this type of gymnastics movement into like this really beautiful and graceful art form that we know as acro dance. Um, I learned, I studied with, or certified with two different acrobatic programs that we yeah. have uh, in the dance community, um, and it's, it's almost like I wasn't satisfied. From there, I just wanted to know more mm -hmm. um, and to mm -hmm. go beyond just dance. I wasn't really sure for a while if I was, if dance was quite what I was passionate about okay. when it came mm -hmm. to like acrobatics and, and how we tell a story within um, our choreography uh, or there was something else out there for me. Okay. Um, and through the magic of Google and Facebook, <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it's a little bit eerie how yeah. you're scrolling through your Facebook page and there's something mm -hmm. on there. It's like you were thinking it and then all of a sudden it's like <laughs> there's an ad there. Like you didn't even say the words and boom, like it's in front of you. Um, there was an ad for the National Circus School. Um, and, you know, through a little Google magic, I learned that they do um, a, a you get to do a college degree mm -hmm. and become an instructor in circus arts. Oh, uh, when cool. my kids were young, this was really out of reach because you do have to go to Montreal and you have to study at mm -hmm. the facility. Uh -huh. uh, you can do a hybrid program, which is the one that I chose. So we okay. did a lot of um, online learning. Okay. So uh, it was synchronous learning like the kids are doing right now with their schooling right. while we're in a lockdown. <laughs> but yeah, you have a teacher and you attend their class um, every week with, yep. you know, um, online. Uh, you submit, you know, all your assignments and stuff, and then at the end you do an intensive. So I actually got to go to the National Circus School in Montreal. Oh, cool. and I spent a week there. It was a grueling week, seven days of like morning to night training um, with, you know, um, their instructors, with um, industry professionals, uh, people that have um, professional careers like in circus, so like mm -hmm. um, Cirque du Soleil or Tohu. Okay, or, very cool, very um, cool. You know, it, it was, um, there were people that came from around the world that were in my class. Wow. It was awesome. Wow. <laughs> uh, really, it's truly like a once in a lifetime yeah. type of experience. Um, but like I said, it, it's an accredited program. It's yep, a, yep. So I have a college degree in, as an instructor in circus arts. Um, and then, I, I mean, that was it for me. That yeah. was once I got to go to Montreal, once we did, you know, all the formation. So we learned uh, production, we learned acrobatics, aerial arts. Um, there, there's a component on rigging and, you know, all the behind the scenes stuff mm -hmm. that go into creating circus. Um, there's a, a social circus development um, a unit that we do. I mean, uh, I just, I was in love. And yeah. um, I was so excited to bring that to the Ottawa Valley mm -hmm. and allow kids to experience what the joy is or what, what I feel is, yeah. is such yeah. a happy thing within the circus. Very cool. Yeah. Well, it's fun day because um, we get a lot of people in here that are dance instructors, things like that. And I know a lot of the dance instructors and owners in this area and they mm -hmm. all grew up in that profession. They grew up as dancers growing up yeah. doing all the steps and that my daughter's into gym gymnastics and she's into dance and she's doing it all. Whereas you're more like what I was, it's the same with photographers. A lot of them were, when they were younger, they got into it. You're like me where you didn't actually come into this until adult life where you thought, 
it, like the passion started there. You didn't yeah. have it mm -hmm. as a young child, but you found it and you found a way to make it work. I think that's awesome. Yeah, it really came from, you know, growing up, we didn't have means for a lot. Um, mm -hmm. My dad was um, like the only, he worked outside the home. My mom worked inside the home. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in the late 80s, there was um, a lot of downsizing with companies in Quebec. So, yep. you know, my dad was out of work for a number of years. Mm -hmm. so my parents somehow always made it work. Um, we were still, we still had the opportunity to do something. Mm -hmm. You know, we... Um, we grew up playing a sport called ringette, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, I was very yeah. passionate about at the time, <laughs> you know, um, but I was the type of kid that wanted to do everything. Like mm -hmm. if I was given the opportunity to play volleyball, I would have done that. If I was given the opportunity to play soccer, I would have grown to love that. Mm -hmm. Um, my sister got to take ballet once. Um, <laughs> but I remember her coming home from her class when we were very young at the time, like I'm talking like five or six years old, <laughs> like. Um, and there she was in her little like unitard. And I remember her trying to teach me what she learned in class, you know, like just uh, basic like uh, flexing and stretching her feet. And she was mm. like telling me how I had to point my toes. Um, <laughs> and I loved it. You know, mm. I, I just I, had that been the first thing that I tried as a child, I may have become may have ballerina. done yeah. dance yeah. or been a ballerina or yeah. whatever. I mean, it's these things are always in you. Um, it's just about the timing when mm -hmm you're afforded the opportunity sure. to um, to try it or, or to, to grow in it. So yeah, yeah it is it's a unique journey, definitely, like learning definitely. things as an adult. And quickly, like like we don't have pictures here and, you, we, and because of COVID, <laughs> we can't demonstrate it, but what is quickly acro fitness? You know, like, I guess in terms of try to picture it to people, paint a picture, I guess. Um, well, so we, um, we run a circus, so that is um, everything from acrobatics to mm -hmm. dance um, to aerials. Um, I have unicycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which, I have one unicycle, so while we're not sharing equipment, uh, some things are on hold, but there's hand balancing um, that we, we do. Oh, I and didn't so that. we've taken a lot of the components of the circus and we've sort of divided them into three areas. So right now we have the dance um, section of mm -hmm. our company. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an acrobatic mm -hmm. section of the company and we have an aerial section where they oh, do the cool. hoops and the silks. Uh, I have a trapeze um, that will eventually like move into yes. a little bit more. But uh, so in terms of like acro fitness, um, that's more like for our adults. Yeah. So, um, as an adult, uh, depending on where you come from, <laughs> um, not not everybody has the mobility and and the strength to you know start doing things like backflips, like I suggested that mm -hmm. we could teach you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, we help or we develop our program to build these things for our students. Okay. Okay. So um, we do a lot of. Um, learning through drills and we break down skills so even though you may not do that backflip today there are smaller components that um, we help you learn um, okay. and build the strength and flexibility for down the road perfect well maybe yeah. we'll get back to some of this again yeah, right after the break. break we gotta go for a commercial break but make sure you get your drink get ready to go and come on back and we'll talk more with marie